Hey everybody, this is Joe from HomestudioCorner.com, and first and foremost, Merry Christmas to all of you. And for my Christmas gift to you, I'm giving you the gift of hard drive space. If uh, you do much recording, then you know no matter how big of a hard drive you get, you're going to fill it up sooner than you expected. Now for me, I've got a glyph drive, and um, it's only an 80 gig, so obviously it's small, but at the time it was... Well, it was the cheapest one, and um, I didn't think I'd fill it up anytime soon. Well, the truth of the matter is, I have filled it up. If we take a look here, if we hit Apple I for info, then you'll notice, take a look. The capacity on this is 34.41 gigabytes. I have 1.76 gigabytes available. So between doing uh, just regular recording and all the videos I'm doing for the production club, uh, I'm running out of space fast. So, how are we going to fix this? Well... I've been wanting to for a long time to talk about file management in Pro Tools, meaning how do you manage all the files? How do you keep your session sizes small? Um, because they can get pretty huge. And what do I mean? Well, for example, here's a session here, a song I'm working on. This is actually one for the production club. And if we look, we've got a bunch of vocals, guitars, bass, everything. And you've got multiple takes of some of these. And these are all, all these regions are represented over here in the regions bin. As you can see, there's a lot here. A lot of audio files going on. And the problem is, of course, we need all of these. The ones in the session need to be there. So let's actually select all of these. So all of our... Let's see. Let's select them all. Okay, so we've got all, all the regions selected right now. And if you look over here, when you select something here, it gets highlighted over here in the, um, in the regions bin. And if you'll look, these blue highlights are the regions in our session. Everything else is just wasted space. Now, what is that from? Well, like, for example, these lead parts. We were working on a lead guitar solo, so he would play it, and we'd listen to it, and it wasn't good. We'd delete that region. So we'd come in and, you know, let's zoom in here. Let's say he played this lead solo part. We'd come in, listen to it, didn't like it, we'd hit delete, and then move on. Now, the issue... If you'll notice, here's that file, and this represents the file on the hard drive. So that's the file there. When we delete it, when we come over here and select it and hit delete, it's still there. It's right here, and it's still on our hard drive. So we haven't deleted anything from the hard drive. Now that's a good thing, because say you accidentally hit delete on something, it's not gone forever. You can just come find it over here and drag it back into your session. But what if it was a take that you have no intention of ever using again? It was messed up, or you've just got a perfect take, and all of these files are just taking up precious space. Well, I'm going to show you how to get rid of those. First off, let's take a look at this session folder. Okay, uh, if we look, this is treading water, it's this one right here. And the size of this session is 2.17 gigabytes. And what does that consist of? Um, some session files, but the, mostly, most all of that is in the audio files folder, which is here. So there's all this going on. Okay, so keep that in mind. This is 2.17 gigabytes, okay? And as you remember before, my entire hard drive only has a little bit over one gigabyte of space available. And I need to free that up because I've got stuff to do. So we come back into Pro Tools. Oops. Come back into Pro Tools. And over here, on this region's bin, click up in the top. Now, this has a lot of options that you're probably not going to use very much. But the one we want to use today is come down to Select and then select All I'm sorry, select unused. So this is selecting all of your unused files. So when we just went in and selected all the regions, that selected all the files that are in the session. Unused selects all the files that are not in this session. So as you can see, there's a ton of files selected that I've deleted out of the session, but never deleted off the hard drive. Now what I'm going to do is to come in, now that they're selected, and click on clear. And what this does, it pulls up a thing that says, hang on, are you sure? You can remove them from the session, or you can delete them. Now, removing them from the session will just make them not show up over here, and they'll still be on the hard drive. So if you went over to the audio files folder and right here, you'd still see them there, so you could still access them. Um, but deleting them deletes them from the hard drive itself. And since all of these are not being used, and I, have them, I don't have them anywhere in the session, then I'm safe to go ahead and delete those. So we're going to hit delete and watch it work. Now it's going to ask me for every single file if I want to delete that. So I'm just going to hit enter. Or you can click the yes button to go through all of these. It's quite a few. 
But once this is done, we're going to take a look and I'll show you the size of the um, session file once we're done. Okay. All right, so now we have clicked all of those and they are removed. So now if we come back, just so you know, if we select all unused, there's none selected. These are all the files within this session now. If we came back and selected them all, then you'd notice I didn't grab them all, but they're all there. Now, a couple of those aren't selected. One thing to keep in mind, unused audio files, what, it, what Pro Tools means when it says unused is anything not in the session. So, for example, if we select everything in here again, like we did before. Okay, it's all selected. You'll still notice there's some lead parts that aren't selected. That's because there's other lead parts on other playlists. So if we went and looked, there's different takes on these playlists. And these are all still here. The it doesn't it, it doesn't remove just un, unused. Unused doesn't mean everything that's visible stays and everything that's not visible goes. Anything that's on an existing playlist will still remain. So you're not deleting those. So let's jump out. And uh, we're going to hit save. Now let's jump out into Finder and look at this again. Now look, it's 1.55 gigabytes. We got rid of at least a half a gigabyte of space from just one session file. And, of course, if we go look at my hard drive again, then we see that I now have 2.38 gigabytes available. That's pretty cool. Now let's go back. If you look into this folder, this is everything on my hard drive. I've got, if we sort it by size, I've got several, um, these are video files, but the rest of this are big files. And I'm going to go through most of these and um, cut down on the, the amount of space and do the same process on each one. And then when I get done, I'm going to have lots of space available, and I'll show that to you as well. So we'll see you in a second. Oh, and one more thing. This mainly applies to you if you keep one session for your song. Meaning, if you go into the session folder, you only keep one session in there. If you do multiple versions of your song in the same session folder, so you have several different session files in there, this could get tricky because if you delete unused audio from one session, um, that could affect how the other ses session functions. So if you delete audio out of this file, um, then you're fine for that file. But if another file is referencing back to that audio and you deleted it, you might be hosed. So just keep that in mind. If you keep multiple versions of a session, um, think through it two or three times just to make sure you're not doing anything detrimental and then go forward with this. Otherwise, if you just do one session per song, you're great. All right, so here we are a little while later, and uh, it took a little time. And uh, you will have to invest some time into doing this. But I went through and opened up all the Pro Tools sessions that were of any uh, larger size. And uh, some things like this, there was several sessions within uh, each of these folders. And did that same process. There's some shortcuts for doing it. Uh, Command-Shift-U and Command-Shift-B on the Mac will um, select the unused and then uh, remove them or clear them from the session. But if we look over here, on my hard drive, I now have 12.4 gigabytes available. So I freed up roughly 10 to 11 gigabytes of space by coming in and uh, clearing out all that session information. Now, to be honest, I did come in and delete a few sessions that were maybe 300, 400 megabytes that I never, you know, I don't see any need to open those again when they come around. But um, that's a huge way to save, uh, save some time, not save time, but to save a lot of space on your hard drive. Now, I will say, the easier way to do this, so you don't have to spend 30 minutes to an hour at some point in the future clearing out your sessions, is whenever you're in Pro Tools and you're done with a recording session or a mixing session or editing session, uh, simply do that process. Go through, select the unused regions, and then remove them from the session. If you do that every time, then you don't have to worry about going back and doing it um, times like today when I was down to my last gigabyte of space and had to, had to free things up. If you do that after every session, you're going to keep your sessions nice and lean, nice and small, and uh, keep your hard drive space at a minimum. Okay, well, you guys, Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.